くぞはっ<笑>ェノサイン勝った Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we want to test the new card system with the extra tiers that we have available to us to see if the drop rates are better than what it was before. For the Power Up Dungeon. Right? Okay, so what they've done, and they, they had done this done for a while now, is they have added all these extra tiers. And you can see the difference in CP level. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, when you get to the last tier, tier 7, you're going to need 48,150 CP. And as far as I can tell, there's really no difference in the rewards in tier 7 than there are in tier 5. Well, actually, there are. I mean, you got these skill level up cards. You got nothing but 4-star cards, no 3-star cards. You got all these cards here that you can use for combining uh, you got the set cars. I mean, there's all kinds of goodies. I mean, they even got the... This is pretty cool. But they even got the... We scroll down to the bottom. I think I might have skipped it. They even got the Leah set in here, which is pretty cool. Like, all the Fest sets are available in here. There it is. There's the Leah set right there. All the Fest sets are available. The Rios, everything, the 3PG cards, all that stuff. Even Case 3PG card. It's all in here. Pretty cool. And I really think a lot of people are probably going to be on tier 5, you know, needing 27,320. I mean, 48,000 CP is a lot. You need a very, very strong character to be able to do that. And that's where we're going to be testing. But in tier 5, I think this is going to be the sweet spot for a lot of players. Maybe tier 6, because you got nothing but 4 stars in here, no 3 stars. You got the 5 star level of cards. You don't got those 6 star level of cards in here. But you got everything else. I mean, all the Leah cards, all these other cards are still available in here. All the 3PGs are still available. Everything is still in here. You know, here's all the Fest sets. There's the Leah set. And there's the 3PG card. There's Case 3PG. All of them are still in there. You know, and I really think Tier 5 is probably going to be the sweet spot for a lot of players. When you start, when you're doing Tier 4, you're just going to be able to get these 3 star. And that's really not going to help. I mean, they did add CP. And that's what we want to test. We want to test to see... How, like, before, the way it was before, is it took about 16,000 AP to level up one full set card. So, you know, you got three of your set cards. It took 16,000 AP to get enough resources to level them up. And what we want to see today is, is it any better? Now, this here costs 60 AP. I have 5,381 CP, right? So, if I can only level up one card... Because it took 16,000 AP before. If I can only level up one card with this system, going in Tier 7 with this amount of CP AP, then it isn't an improvement at all. But if we can level up two cards, even three, it would be a mass, it would be a massive improvement from what it was. And something that's really nice about the new battle card system that I really do love is when you combine, now when you combine these cards, you always get a skill level up card, a five star skill level up card. I get these things repeatedly, and we'll probably do that today, uh, which is awesome. You can constantly get them, and you can look at my inventory here. I have nothing available, nothing, just one card here, and I have nothing available here. And as far as uh, leveling up a card, today we're going to be trying to level up uh, Ryu cards. If I can find these babies. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? There we go. We're going to level up. I got three sets that are skill level one. And you can look at my skill level of cards. All I have is six of these five stars and four of these four stars. That's it. That's all I have. So just keep that in mind while I'm doing this. It's not a lot, but it is a little bit just to be transparent with all of you. So we're going to go into here, the Power of Dungeon, and we're going to use all of this AP to see how many resources we're going to get. And then we're going to combine our cars and all that good stuff. Now, for this one here, this specific uh, tier, uh, you definitely want uh, green characters. You definitely want green characters because they're going to have the type advantage over the yellow. Uh, I use Guinness and I used his leadership because it's a great leadership for him uh, to buff him up. Plus, he's just an insane character and he was the one I was able to do all this with uh, by himself. 
Now you see he has 53,000 CP plus the 982 from Ukio there. Uh, by the way, a good way to buff up your CP is put a striker in here, a really uh, level four star, three star, two star, whatever. The highest striker you have, the highest CP striker you have with a good card set on them to add a little extra CP to your damage dealer to try to buff up that CP. But I got 489 clear tickets. We're going to empty all this out and we're going to see how many resources we get. Now, the game will probably end up crashing more than likely. And, you know, if this takes a long time, I'll just probably go ahead and skip all this. Okay. Really be nice to get one of them fest cards. That'd be dope. Okay. So I've emptied out. Well, wait a minute. I haven't emptied it out just yet. Okay, so we are out of AP. So now we're going to go back into the cards. And we're going to level up a set card. We're going to start leveling up that Ryu card. And we're going to see how far we can go. I'm going to start off this bad boy right here. The first thing we want to do... Actually, I'm sorry. The first thing we want to do is we want to combine cards. Now, I don't got any 3 stars because we didn't get any 3 star from the tier 7. We're going to go into the 4 star. And we're going to see what we get here. See, there's your skill level of card. There's a vice card there, which is pretty cool, right? Skill level of card. I mean, it's it's pretty sweet, honestly. Look at this skill level of card. And you need, you know, we need to do this to make sure we're make because all these cards that I'm using right now, I got from just now in the tier seven. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and. Collect all these in here. Okay, all those are gone. We're going to combine again. Look at this. I mean, every time, you know. I mean, it's random, but still. <laughs> We're getting a lot of the purple, which is nice. Okay, there's a set one there. Okay. Okay. We're not really getting any good cards in the center, though. That sucks. But it is nice that they give us these set cards in here. I mean, not set cards, but skill level up cards. They're a cool little card. That's cool. Don't really use them anymore, but still a decent card. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. And it's just all five-star, which is awesome. I can't go any further. All right, so now let's level up that Ryu card. So now we've finished all our combining. Skill enhance. Here we go. So we got 122 of these. I think I had like four of them before. I can't remember six of these. So let's see how far we go. Let's see how far we, we take this. Okay, so we're going to use materials. There we go. Okay. All right, we're going to use all our materials again. Okay, so we'll use all these. All right, we'll just keep going up a little bit. I mean, if this can level up three cars, that would be insane. You know, that would be triple the amount of resources compared to what we had before. Okay, so I got three cars. I'm going to go ahead and put, well, I had, I had four of these. So technically we only got seven of these. So I'm going to use, no, no, we're just going to use these first. Okay, and we'll do it again. I mean, it's looking like it's better than what it was before. Okay. I think we can do this again. Yeah. Okay. All right. And we'll go ahead and use two of these. Well, we'll just hold off. We'll just use these here. All right, we'll just use one and then we'll use the rest of these. Okay. Now I had four of these already and I just used one. So 
So I got nine of these in total. So we can use two of these. Okay. Guarantee I got my math wrong. <laughs> okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, that's perfect. Alright, so we got one level 10 card already. So, the system is already uh, showing improvement. It's already better than what it was before. So, we're going to level up another card. Another Ryu card. Here we go. No, 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 no. I got one at level 30 already. Yeah, this one here. Oh, no? Okay. All right. I mean, this system is easy. I mean, this is something I like about it. You know, click, 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 and you just, you get the enhancement automatically. It's freaking sweet. You know, all this here just keeps carrying over. It's, I mean, this is nice. This, I mean, I really do like this. You know, it's not all perfect, but it's definitely looking like it is better than what it was before. Uh, because we're able to level up more. You know, even though the AP costs more, like we're using more AP for the higher tier, it looks like the cost to reward ratio is better than what it was before. I mean, we're probably going to end up leveling up this card here. So that's going to be two cards compared to what it was before, where we just only level up one card with, you know, 5,000 AP. I mean, it's better. Okay. All right. Uh, well, well, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, and we will, boy, we're, we're running low. We're just going to use two of these, and then we'll use some of these. There we go. All right, and we'll go ahead and finish up level 10. I had four of these left. We'll use two more. Okay, so we need one more. Okay. I mean, we leveled up two cars with, you know, 5,300 AP. Uh, farming in tier sub Farming in tier seven. So, it's already better than what it was before. I mean, it's already better. You know, we would only been able to level up one car the way it was before. And it looks like, I mean, we're not going to be able to level up three cards with 5,300 AP, but I think about 6,000 AP, you could probably level up three cards. So it's, it is much better than what it was before. I mean, this is much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean, oh, we had four of those left. I didn't want to do that. We had four of those left. But still, it's not going to make that much of a difference. I mean, so if I left this way, was this is pretty close to what it was before. I know there was more of these before. There was like four of these, six of these. I don't remember. And there was like four of these. But we got two cards leveled up completely to 10, and this card up to six by using around 5,300 AP in Tier 7. Before, we would spend about 16,000 AP to level up three separate cards so it is way better it's over double the amount of resources that you're getting compared to what it was before now i'm not sure what it's going to be like in tier five tier six but i do believe it's probably still going to be better i mean this is a pretty big improvement uh, but the thing still about this system is and i said it before and i'll say it again all these five star cars that we have all these five star cars they just sit and rot you pretty much just have to delete them or add to your inventory you know if you want to spend the rubies i mean if you want to spend the rubies and you want to add to your inventory that's your choice you can do that there's plenty of players to do it and there's nothing wrong with it i mean you know if i add a you know if i'm willing to spend 1020 rubies i can put my inventory up to 955 you know a lot of people do it who knows? I might do it too, to be perfectly honest, just to add more inventory because I really don't want to delete my five-star damn cards. But I wish we could use them as duplicates. I wish we could use them as, you know, fodder. I mean, it just sucks that 
We can't. And this is the thing about the system I don't like. I mean, obviously, the reward to the cost to uh, resource ratio is much better than what it was before. It's over double. It's over double, which is a big improvement. I mean, it's still a lot of AP. Don't get me wrong. It's still a lot of damn AP. I mean, 6,000 AP, but still, that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, if you farm, uh, let's see, we go in the card dungeon here. And let me go ahead and add a little AP here. There we go. Okay, and uh, you know what? We'll add another one of these. There we go. So that way we got about 1,000 AP. Okay, so we got 1,100 AP, all right? And if we go into tier five, and this is really, I think, the sweet spot. And by the way, something that you should notice is when you're in this uh, tier five, you really want to make sure you're using awakened characters. You know, uh, they tell you to include a fire with 27,000 CP or higher. Uh, it decreases damage dealt by 3% per 1% of lacking CP. So when you are lacking CP, you're dealing less damage. And include a fighter with awakened level one or higher. And when you have an awakened fighter, it's going to increase the damage by 20%. So you definitely want to have awakened fighters in here. So we're going to go ahead and pull for this. Okay. All right. We'll do this. Whoops. Go up to nine. No. Okay. So we're out of those. Now we're going to go back into the car system. And I know this is kind of redundant. We're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I just want to see if this is any better. Okay. So we're going to go to our four star. Let's see what we get. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. So far, I really haven't got any uh, good cards, which kind of sucks. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and collect all these. There we go. And we're going to... I can't do three-star. Okay. All right. Nothing major there. And that's all I can use. And we go to our set cards. We'll go to that last card that I had that need to be level up, that Rio card. Rio card. Okay. We'll go to this one here. So we were able to get 24 of these. Um, and we had one, so we got 23 of these four stars, and then we got three of these five stars. Okay. So the drop rates are definitely going to be better. The higher tier you go, for sure, you're going to get a lot more resources. Okay. And then we would use three of these. So it just took this one card up, you know, three notches, you know. Uh, it was at level six, and it took it up to level nine. So we ended up getting 23 of these four-star uh, skill level setup cards. And if you was to run, say... You know, if my math is correct, if you was to do about, use about 5,000 AP, you would get about 115 of these, which isn't far off from what uh, I got doing tier 7 using 60 AP. So I really think that tier 5 really is the, the sweet spot. Now, the advantages in tier 7 is you get a lot more of those other cards to use to combine. Uh, you also have chances of getting other better cards which is the reason people are going to push to those higher levels. But I mean, if you're in tier five, you're still going to have a good a cost to reward ratio in the power of dungeon. I mean, tier five really, in my opinion, is where it's at. And I mean, and to reach 27,000 CP, I mean, just have an awakened character. You won't even need imprint stones to do this. So I think that would be the way to go. So if you spent the same amount of AP that, I spent in this here, you're going to be able to level your cards almost as much as what I did.
So it's still a really good deal. Actually, in, in, in a way, it's kind of better because you're using less AP, but in here, you just have a higher chance of getting uh, better rewards. So all in all, I mean, it's much better than what it was before. We're getting a lot more. We're getting over double uh, the amount of resources to level up our cards, which is great. But I still have a problem with the five-star cards not being useful. The fact that they just sit in our inventory and collect dust. I really wish they would uh, do something about that and let us make use of those cards. But other than that, rock and roll, my friends. So let me know how you're all feeling about the card system. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.